Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and test uh, the pH in this uh, sparkling bubbly water, blackberry, I guess, flavor. Uh, I believe this is from Safeway. It looks like a Safeway Select brand. It says no calories, no sweeteners, all smiles. Well, we wanna see how, how what you're gonna smile with um, after you see how it turns out on the pH level. Um, this is Kangen water right here. And this is our pH indicator. Same thing that you uh, pH swimming pools with before you swim in. Uh, but people, people don't pH their water before they drink it. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and crack this open. We're gonna crack it open. Cracked. Go ahead and pour it here. Looks like it's a clear color. Never had this before. Never pH tested it, but we want to go ahead and do it on camera. We'll go ahead and take these pH drops right here. Drop one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. So, as you can see, there's a noticeable difference um, between the two, between the, uh, the two pHs. Uh, one is very uh, orange as you can see right here is very orange and the other one is like a deep purple that's the Congo water that's what you want to drink okay what we're gonna do I'm gonna pull, pull out this uh, pH indicator chart just in case you know people have never seen the pH indicator chart but look this is what you're looking for okay so this is where this is where the drink is right here and this is where the Kanye water is right here okay so this is the uh, bubbly you know purple I mean excuse me bu bubbly water uh, and this is the Kanye water okay so what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna do a test never again never done this before we're gonna do a test and the test is going to be to look at what your body, after you've been drinking this for so long, what your body's going to do once it reaches this high pH, uh, potential a hydrogen drink. Um, here we go. Wow. It didn't do anything. That means that, that this right here is very acidic. Probably like a 2.5 on the pH chart. Okay? Probably like a 2.5 on the pH chart. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and we're going to pour it into a big container. Okay? We're going to pour it into a big container. And we're going to see how much water, how much good Kanye water it's going to take to pH balance this stuff right here, this bubbly stuff right here, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take this and we're gonna pour it into this canister right here. We use this for cereal, I just rinsed it out. We're gonna go ahead and put it in here. Let me put this pH chart so you can see better. I'm gonna go ahead and put it in here, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and pour it in here, okay? Woo, fizzy, fizzy, fizzy. Okay, so you can still see it's orange, okay? So we have our conga machine right here. And we're gonna turn it on to 9.5 pH. Right now, the uh, filter filter uh, warning just came on. We, we're gonna change the filter in a couple of days when we receive it. But, the, but it's still, still, you know, the water is still all good. So we're gonna go ahead and do that 9.5. And we're gonna do so. We're gonna do a 9.5. Okay, we're gonna say how much water does it take to alkalize to alkalize this water? This now, this is how much water. This is how much out. How much alcohol? Uh, how much uh, conga water you would have to drink just to neutralize your body? Okay, it's still like a. It's getting. It's getting better. It's like a. It's like a yellow now. It's like a yellow. Let's see if we could, we got to fill it all the way up to change that pH. Okay. Just in case the pH. Hold on, hold on. I'm gonna turn it off. Just in case the pH drops got uh. 
Yeah, this is their notice of filter replacement. It's still good though. Um, we're gonna go ahead and put some more pH drops in here, okay? Just in case they got it. Uh, let's see what color it is. It's, okay, so it's like a green. Okay, so it's it's getting a little bit better. Started out orange. I don't know if you remember the beginning of the video. Started out orange, but now we're gonna see if we can get it to turn. Oh, y'all see that? You see that blue? That blue that came in here? Look how much. Now, mind you, I only use half of this can right here. This is how much it's gonna take to alkalize it. Wow. Wow. I would probably have to say this is like a gallon and a half of water, probably. Okay. Now the color is like it's like blue, right? It's like blue. It's not orange anymore, but it's like blue. Or whatever 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 color you guys think that is. I think it's like like maybe neutral. Maybe that's neutral. Okay? See the between here and here. That's what the color is. Wow. Look how much water it is though. This one in them cereal containers. Right? You see how much that how much water it is? Now watch this. I'm gonna drop I'm gonna pour the rest of this soda in here. Excuse me, not soda, bubbly, and see what happens. Okay? Let's see what happens. Ooh, y'all see that, that that color change? It went back to yellow. You see that? Just that little bit of this bubbly stuff right here, this bubbly sparkling on water, it went right back to yellow. It's, it went right back to acidic. It was neutral. Now we're right back to acidic. Wow. All right, so word to the wise. Stop drinking this, y'all. It's not good for you. It might taste good. Might feel good after you eat your little burger or something, got a little burp or something. It's not good for your body though. It's not good for your body, as you can see. Okay? Alright, that's about a gallon and a half of uh 9.5. And this it, it, it went it went neutral, and then I put a little a half, another the other half of the can in there, and now it turned back acidic. So show you how acidic that that uh bubbly is. Don't drink it. Alright. Peace out.